Anything can happen at the Royal Rumble, and when the ring is full of WWE superstars, things are bound to go out of control. I'm Jeremy, and here are five unscripted WWE Royal Rumble moments. Batista and John Cena were the final two participants in the 2005 Royal Rumble match, and they somehow ended up eliminating each other. Batista was supposed to win the match and face Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania that year. However, the dual elimination created uncertainty about who would headline the show of shows. To resolve that issue, Vince McMahon came out fuming and ordered the match to be restarted. That's when Animal ended up throwing Cena out of the ring and winning the match. This marked a pivotal moment in both of their careers as Dave went on to win the World Championship and Cena won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 21. The other unscripted bit was how Vince McMahon oddly busted both of his quads while entering the ring. Ouch. During the 2011 Royal Rumble match, which was the largest at the time with 40 participants, former WWE superstar star Alex Riley was booked to eliminate John Cena from the match. Riley unfortunately eliminated himself by falling out of the ring while being beat up in the corner by Cena and Kofi Kingston. The leader of the C Nation was left stunned that the person who was supposed to eliminate him got eliminated. Thankfully WWE managed to develop a new plan by having The Miz, who was WWE Champion at the time, interfere in the match and toss Cena over the top rope. At WrestleMania 27, John Cena challenged The Miz for the WWE Championship, but he failed to capture the title after the rock cost him the match the 1992 royal rumble was very memorable and for the first time the wwe world championship was on the line which rick flair won however thanks to macho man randy savage the rumble didn't go smoothly savage who was involved in a feud with jake the snake roberts eliminated him but that wasn't enough savage proceeded to jump over the top rope onto jake which is a huge blunder normally a wrestler going over the top rope would count as a self-elimination because this was a slip up w WWE had to come up with a way to fix it. The commentators improvised, claiming because Macho Man jumped over the top rope on his own, he was still in the match. In 1996, Steve Austin, known as the Ringmaster, a cold, calculating, technical wizard of Ted DiBiase's Million Dollar Corporation, Austin was not a big fan of that gimmick, but still, he was slated for great things and was given an amazing opportunity in his debut in the Royal Rumble. He was booked to be one of the final four participants, a fact that he told Bleacher Report years later in 2020. Unfortunately, he was fighting Fatu, who would later become known as Rikishi, he was slick with baby oil. The rope squirted out of Austin hands and he found himself outside of the ring. The elimination happened in the background where almost nobody noticed it. Even though he botched his first Rumble appearance, Austin went on to win two consecutive Royal Rumble matches in 1997 and 1998 and another one in 2001. A record of three wins that still stands as the best in Royal Rumble history. In 2000's Royal Rumble match, we saw The Rock flip Big Show over the top rope to win the match, not without some controversy. Both superstars went over the top rope, but The Rock's feet touched the floor first. The Great One was a popular babyface at the time, and everybody wanted him to win the match. WWE decided to turn this real-time era into a storyline, with Big Show arguing that he was the real winner. Both eventually were inserted in the title bout at the show of shows, along with Triple H and Mankind, making it a fatal four-way match, which the game won. 